Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me for this talk on hunting mumblebees. This is a continuation of my 2024 cross country trip. Uh, here I'm in Mohammed, uh, Illinois, on June 20th, 2024. So here's a look at Google Map, and as you can see here, I have Mohammed circled. It is just west of Champlain, Illinois, and you can see here just a little south and west of Chicago. It's located right on I Interstate 74. A little closer look, uh, the red outlined area within that green circle is Mohammed, and again, it's dissected by Interstate. Uh, 74. We'll get a closer look here. So this is zoomed in on most of the town, the township lines, and uh, the area that I visited is the, you can see north of the interstate here, and that is the Lake of the Woods um, Forest Preserve, and the Buffalo Trace Prairie is part of that. It's on uh, the west side of the road that runs north-south, I believe it's Route 47, State Route or County Route 47. At any rate, uh, although I did go to the eastern boundary, I drove over and parked at the western boundary. All this occurred, you know, like 11.30 till about 12.30 on the 20th of June. So we're going to look at um, an aerial image of this parking area on the left hand side where you see that in the upper left you see the gold gold arrow but I just want to mention if you do come by this uh, on Interstate 74 there's a couple of things worth seeing uh, this Lake of the Woods uh, area is uh, full of recreation and also you can see here in the middle the, there's a botanical garden there's a museum of the Grand Prairie there's a golf course, there's boating, hiking, uh, and then a few other uh, features to see. So anyway, don't hesitate to check that out if you're heading through on Interstate 74. So close up on uh, west of the road and north of the interstate, this is the area that's outlined here is the um, Buffalo Trace Prairie, and again, on that west side, uh, the west side parking lot, just in from there where you see this arrow that just came in, uh, they have, um, this is a, a county uh, park, and they have planted rows of um, pollinator flowers uh, that we'll take a look at in a second. And that's where I was finding the bumblebees all over this flower. I think the flowers are meant to be seed beds uh, for seed stock for the area. So here you can see a little bit, sh sh looking on an angle here, you can picture almost three rows, the one in the immediate foreground and, and such. And uh, you can see bumblebee probably uh, brown belted on this echinacea. The two prominent flowers in these beds were the echinacea. I believe if my comparisons were correct, that this is the pale purple cone flower. And on the right is a milkweed species, uh, butterfly weed and Predominantly, that's where I was seeing um, the bumblebees on these two species. So the first of these is what I believe is Bombus pennsylvanicus, the American bumblebee, very large bumblebee. I'll be talking about this bumblebee in a future uh, video, just talking, you know, a little bit of ID, but also um, some of its life history. Uh, so that's will be coming up soon but here you can see it on the echinacea again also as i said in previous videos that's my belief that this is bombus pennsylvanicus for a couple of reasons that we'll see in the next slides i've talked about this uh i've shown you a video posted a video of this bumblebee at work already but 
um, I posted this to Bumblebee Watch, and I'm trying to get a confirmation uh, if that's exactly what this is. Is this Bombus pennsylvanicus? So my reason for thinking this is American bumblebee is if you look at the thorax, and I apologize for the quality, they're visible, but they're not crisp, uh, the quality of the photos. But if you look at the thorax here, um, you can see a band of yellow, whitish yellow uh, behind the head. But from the wings on back, it's black hairs. And that's common with American as well as black and gold. But the abdomen, uh, the upper portion of the abdomen is called, uh, or those plates are called tergites. And if you look at what they call T1, T2, T3, those three areas of the abdomen have yellow bands. And that's pretty uh, good indication. Um, it's not completely diagnostic, but it makes me lean that way. And of course, who knows? Some of this is my own desire to be finding American Mumblebee, obviously. But um, in the next video, I'm going to talk about explicitly about American Bumblebee, its range, what's going on, some ID stuff, but as well as some natural history. So I'll go into more detail, including what MSU Michigan State reported uh, from their natural features inventory that um, they did find this in Michigan in small numbers in four counties between 2020 and 2022. I'll talk more about that and how this is in decline in the northern reaches of its range uh, in that video. And then here's a final shot. You can see this bumblebee flying off of Echinacea. And clearly you can see the three bands on the abdomen and the thorax where it just has that fur coat around its collar that's it on the thorax. So anyway, like I said, we'll talk more about this in a future video. It's coming up very soon. And with that, we'll switch to the other bee. The other bumblebee that I saw that I believe this is a correct ID. Again, I posted this as well to Bumblebee Watch, and that's the brown belted bumblebee. This is a very common bee, uh, goes pretty far west, um, all over the east, and uh, not too far north. But anyway, Bombus chrysiacolis, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I have a, a, a video just dedicated to Bombus chrysiacolis and some of the findings that are pretty recent. Uh, please check that out if you want to learn more about this bumblebee. It's it may become more and more important economically. And uh, but anyway, let's look at a couple of close-ups of this. And um, so I found this on both species. The um, American bumblebee was almost exclusively on the Echinacea, but the brown belted seemed to be on both um, the coneflower as well as. Uh, the milkweed and there's a face on the head's not perfectly in focus but you can see the body pretty well uh, feeding on the echinacea so anyway just a brief talk of about these two bees there were there were several bees that i saw there but these were the two that i got decent enough pictures that i thought i could id it hey thank you for your interest and for viewing my talk uh, again, not to beat it to death, but I will have an upcoming video on American bumblebee soon. But I also recommend you go back and look at the Bombus griseocolis, the brown belted bumblebee, because there's some recent research that I talk about in that, uh, as well as its life history. Uh, if by any chance either the either of my IDs are incorrect on these bees, I will post that correction immediately. Uh, and again, thank you for your interest and uh, appreciate your time.